Hi there, so this is part three of four of my in-depth Canon C300 Mark II review, and I just used this camera to shoot my first feature film, and as I mentioned in the first part, I think we were the first feature film in the world to shoot entirely with this camera, and it was a blast. And in this segment, what I'm going to cover is my experience of shooting with the Canon Compact Zooms on this camera, the Cinema Compact Zooms, and the Cine Primes. So without further delay, let's get into it. So you want to talk about the lens a little bit also? Uh, that's kind of, I think, the last thing I want to touch upon because obviously these are crazy amazing lenses and, and frankly, at the low budget level, they're out of reach for, right. for most filmmakers. It's just, at least when I was shooting low budget, it was hmm. Canon L-series glass was my choice or Zeiss uh, Compact Primes. I bought a Zeiss Compact Prime set, which was amazing. Hmm. And one thing that I was really curious about on this is that and we originally had asked for a set of Primes and Canon had said, oh no, try and shoot the film with the zooms. Hmm. So the image quality of the zooms is crazy good. Hmm. It's crazy good. Um, and if you're trying to do a lot of setups really fast, just being able to, you know, with this go from 30 to 100 is really convenient. Hmm. Um, and if you don't really care about shooting below f2.8, it's, I would say, go for it. You, you know, you could, hmm. couldn't ask for anything more. And I know a lot of productions are going more and more towards zoom-based shooting, just so mm -hmm. they leave the lens on and that's it. They never have to take it off, don't have to worry about sensor dust, they're good to go. Um, that being said, um, the 30 to 105 is not gonna give you, um, if you're working in tight spaces, you're not gonna get as much of that room in there as possible. They make the other one, which is the 15.5 to 47, um, which is crazy amazing. When you open that up to the full 15, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. But the thing that's amazing about it is generally you'd kind of almost think you'd be almost fisheye at that point. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, there's almost no spherical distortion, which for me was pretty Yeah, I, I, I shot 90% of my landscape when I was kind of a 17 to 40. And when I was doing interior design at 17 was the max I would go. I never went to 15. Right. And uh, apparently you were good at 15 with that. Yes. And, cool. and at 15, I tried to make sure that my actors were as close to the center of the yeah. image as possible just the because of the effect, you know? Yeah. So one of the big questions that I had on this is, you know, beyond the challenge, of, you know, that Canon posed to us of shooting entirely on the zooms was how do the zooms and prime stack up? Right. And you know, specifically on the, the Canon, the Canon primes, the, the cinema primes, what I really wanted to know is how do they stack up against the Zeiss lenses that, that I had been used to and the Zeiss compact primes, because they're in a similar price range mm -hmm. and similar format. And uh, every person's reaction to a lens is always a slightly subjective one, mm -hmm. but I can say that these felt slightly warmer, the, the, the fall off felt a little smoother um, and it's just something about, you know, Canon has a look. I don't, you know, it is yeah. a Canon look. I don't know how they do it, but I definitely know that from now on, I'm going to have a full set of the Canon primes on, on any film that I shoot just because, um, you know, I come from the old school, you know, zoom, zoom with the foot or the dolly, not with the lens. Right. And, um, having the, the option to drop down to 1.3, uh, especially when you have low light situations is phenomenal. There were times where we were just running out of sunlight and we still needed to kind of match the basic exposure. Even if the color temperature was going wildly off, we wanted mm. to at least make sure we had a matching exposure mm. and without jacking up the ISO, it was like, okay, let's pull out. This yeah. was, you know, yeah, this, this is a huge difference between 2.8. I mean, even in photography, if you do a lot of portrait, you know, 2.8, 1.4, 1.2 is, is a whole different world. That's why, you know, even when you buy a 50 millimeter, you know, the, the, 1.8 version is very cheap and then you have the or 2.8 1.8 and 1.4 is three different price like you know well yeah, the difference yeah. between 1.4 and 1.2 i think on the canon lenses is, is that's like a thousand dollars yeah it's a lot of money but it but it's really got a look well okay thank you so much there so uh i hope you guys are gonna love this movie it's coming out probably in about eight months we'll see if we go to festivals or not it was really fun shooting with all this canon and zakuto gear i really want to thank canon and zakuto again for sponsoring the movie and um, oh, I hope you will check out the Canon C300 Mark II if you have a short movie or a long feature film. It's really the camera to go to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. I reached to it.